What's up, guys? It's another Tuesday night edition of Flight Club. What we already for? Tuesday? Yeah, already. <laughs> My knees are wobbly. Uh, yesterday went by uh, like forever, didn't man, it? We ain't 20, I can tell you I'm that. I'm telling you, man. Um, we were working yesterday all day. So. All night. Windy, cold, everything. But it's getting warmer this week. The weather's yeah, getting nice. better. 74 and, uh, tomorrow. 74, yeah. 75. Yeah, and I think rain by the weekend again. That nice. uh, it's every weekend. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, we had a club meeting on uh, what Sunday, and it was so windy that it was thirty mile an hour crosswind. So windy, you couldn't you hear what he's saying? Ho! He's like this. <laughs> yeah. I said, "Hey man, can you hear him?" No. Nope. Me and Wayne are sitting in the building. I'm sitting in the building, like, man. You guys can sit outside. Yeah. Freeze. It was pretty bad. Um, how's everybody doing tonight? Um, like I said, didn't get a lot of flying in, son. You did fly one time, didn't you? I did. No one was brave enough. Well, actually, the other kid. Uh, what's the one with the big airplane? I can't think of his name. I can't think. I know the kid. Every time I see it, I can see his face, but I yeah. can't remember his yeah. name. That's how it normally works. It's yeah, it was normal. literally 30 mile an hour crosswind. It was. So it was I took my PC9 up. It looked like a piece of paper. What's that piece of paper? <laughs> Here's a piece of paper here. <laughs> Demonstrate. Yeah, me. so you take off. So you take off, and here's what it does. All you can do, everything that you can do is just trying to keep it going straight. However, you can keep the wings level. Exactly. I bring it back around. I should have kept on my speed and brought it in low and fast and then just try to stop. But no, I just went, eh. anyway, I broke my prop. Went, well, there you go. Well, at least you tried. I mean, you know, nobody That's all right. I got three blade of ready for it anyway. That's right. So no one else is doing it. I can take my wing on here. Uh -huh. Well, you know, I just wanted to fly. Didn't that's, say I couldn't. There's no laws against stupid. No. Well, <laughs> no. Um, so what are you guys working on out there? Uh, anybody do any flying where you are this past weekend? Like mm -hmm. I said, the wind's been relentless here, which, yeah. you know. Right behind that storm. It was nasty. Yeah. It's died down some today, I think, and it got a little warmer, and then it's supposed to get yeah, nice, nice as the week goes Very on. Nice. So we'll see. Um, again, we've just been working on stuff and uh, trying to – Get waiting the, for parts. Waiting for parts. Waiting for things. Uh, waiting for that one. Yeah, right here. ScaleRCEngines.com. You guys all know who they are. We've talked about them. And uh, Sean is making these cockpits for this T28, and he's also making the radio. I've got some things I'll show you guys, as a matter of fact. Um, this is going to be really nice for any of you guys that are looking at doing the uh, radio for your engine on this airplane. Um, this is a picture right here from Mr. Philip Camp working on his, uh, let me unplug this phone. That is actually all 3D printed. Does that not look good? Check that out. And the wires he put on himself, which I'll do to mine as well. Um, I'll show you another picture here. Let's see. Um, where is my... I'll get that out of the way so you guys don't have to see that. There's another view it of it. looks good. It looks fantastic. I know, that Barbie cam, that Canon Barbie hey man, cam. man, that's clear right go. here, but it's clear as a bell. And here's another one looking kind of down Yeah, that's good. It. I like the, not the, I want to say glow plugs, ignition wires. Yeah, look the really ignition good. wires look really good. Push rods. And like I said, the whole radio itself looks, looks really good. The front of the airplane. It's even better when it's doing 100 mile an hour. If I can get it to zoom in, get it to clear up for you guys. Hold it. Hold still, Ken. I'm trying. You gotta wear your pink shirt and your pink shoes and your pink. <laughs> I don't know why. There, I don't know. Just don't. Trust me. It's, well, it's got it a did mind of it own. Too. Okay. Anyway, you guys can see it there pretty good, but that looks amazing. That's right. Really good. So, uh, and that was Mr. Philip Camp's airplane, too. And Is he the one doing the B 17, too? I wouldn't doubt it. <laughs> I think he's painting it, um, weathering it, something. I think it was him. I would not doubt it. It had um, to be him. He's the one that I got the idea for the lights and everything on mine, and we got all those installed. An update on the 14. There it is. There it is. You ready. think it was dead, but it's not. I'm trying to get it in. Hold on. Hold on. Come on, Ken. Come, <laughs> Come on. on. Where am I at? In, out. Out, in. Out in any any, any out, out any out anyway there it is there it is yeah so it's it's sitting in there it's got a little crunchy nose but it's all ready yep it'll be ready and if we get it flying and it does great then we'll paint the nose again <laughs> maybe might yeah, be bad it's got to be it's got to be done that plane looked too good man before we uh tossed it up and it well you know whoever electric you <laughs> and go and it's still not no more we never still did. No, because I've plugged it in, that. plugged it in, plugged it in, plugged it in, plugged it in afterwards. And every single time, both units. Yeah. And I exactly. shoved it all the way to the, uh, 
Made sure everything's in, you know, male, female, all the way. That's right. Still there. So I don't know. Yep. I don't know. I don't know either, but hopefully we'll uh, get it in the air soon if we can get some decent weather. But, um, but yeah, guys, so I got Sean to make us a banner because our spring fly-in is coming up in, what, April 16th. And um, we actually were going to do it on the 6th, but there's another event going on, and we don't like to overlap with them just out of courtesy. So we actually moved ours to the 16th. So it will be on the 16th, uh, and that's a Saturday all day. We'll have a huge crowd. Uh, hopefully the weather will be great. And uh, so, yeah, so Sean, I told him, I said, man, we hang banners from our different companies and sponsors all along our fence. And so he actually got this printed up and made for us and it's also got the scan code um, on the bottom for people that just want to hold their phone up there and scan and go straight to the website and he is going to be giving us um coupons to give out at the raffle for our fly-in um primarily you didn't lock this huh you didn't lock it no i didn't know kids were gonna be playing with it. no kid um, here <laughs> um but he's gonna be giving us coupons towards the discount for guys that want to order stuff because, of course, he doesn't know what you want. And so you'll be able to, to win some coupons to order your scale stuff for any of your airplanes that you got that you want to do something to. You want to dress up the cockpit, things like that. So um, that would be really cool. So, uh, yeah. And uh, somebody saying you need to come back to Cali. <laughs> I'm going back to Cali. Don't fly spirit because I guarantee, <laughs> dude, you'll be robbed. Before you even get in the plane, oh, if it doesn't fit under the seat, it has to put over over the end of the van, and and that's an extra hundred dollars. That flight you got the filet mignon. Filet mignon didn't <laughs> give you a peanut. <laughs> it's horrible. It's pretty sad. It was bad. Oh man, Mean Joe's in the house. What's up, Mean buddy? Joe? Yes. Did you see all the way he's lost? I he's, know, he's man. Working he's out, got, like, man. Pants like this, a little yeah. like that. Exactly, and he just put up some good tips on batteries and battery placement for just the different the airplane. Just the tip. Yep, that's it. Yeah, so um, I've seen that. So, yeah, I mean, that was a pretty cool video. We actually posted that on our Facebook page and uh, let everybody see that. And it's always good seeing Joe. I hadn't seen him in a while, but, you know, um, he's been really busy, too. So. He's always got stuff going on. Whoa, oh, I'm a dangling. A uh, dangling participle. I don't know, how, I don't know why that yeah. came on. It doesn't stay on real good. But, yeah, so let's see. We've got um, – also, let us not forget, we got the lights installed on a T-28 from – Dave's RC Electronics, and uh, yeah, he's he's got some cool stuff over there, guys. And through uh, March, in the March, if you use code Flight Club Twenty Twenty Four, you will get, I think it's ten percent off of your entire order. Tim throwing out the sunshine. There he is, man. Appreciate sunshine. that, buddy. He's got him a new box to open too. Mm, what is it? What could it be? What was he playing? What instrument did he play out there? He had two. He had the banjo. Sax, banjo. It was the sax. Yeah, all he the sexy sax. Symbols between his knees, man. <laughs> I don't want to know what he has between his <laughs> knees. Yeah. Um, what's up, Jackson? Let's do a quick roll call here and see. Roll Mr. call. Roll, roll, roll. Let's go up to the top. We had Mr. Ken Wade in here first night. What's up, Ken? Sorry we missed you at the club uh, meeting on Sunday. He wasn't there. No, he wasn't there. Um, it was so see. windy. We have in the house Jeff from Lower Alabama, or LA Jeff, as I like to call him, Scott Monarch. We've got John Holligan. How are you tonight, <laughs> buddy? Good to see you here tonight. Roll Lyndon Stewart. Let's see. Rolling Nichols. Hey, yeah. Paul McNeil. Um, Kennedy Church. That would be your kin, folk. That would be my niece. Yep. We have Gary Gasser in the house. Hope he's not too gassy tonight. Mean Joe, of course. CBO Hobo. We've got mom here in the house. We've got Margie uh, Pom Pomtel. I don't know. How you oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. She's a family friend. Been okay. helping uh, with my dad, helped my sister. Awesome. Yeah, well, last year. Well, like in fact, she helped my mom until she passed away at Christmas. Uh, well, like it was for subscribe. her. I probably wouldn't even. I'd have to be there, and I can't do that kind of stuff. Yeah. Well, tell them to like and subscribe to the channel. Um, we've got Carlos know. Manuel Espinoza Mattis. Hey, I did that pretty good. Let's see. It says, hello, friends. I'm building one, and thank you for sharing the experience of others who have built one. I wanted to ask if the 40cc handles well. What do you recommend? I am from Costa Rica. All right. Well, Carlos, we're actually putting the 40 twin. I'll actually show it to you. Um, Costa Rica? I'm going to Costa Rica. Oh, it's actually on the plane. <laughs> Is it on the plane? You yeah, want to show them that one? Well. Would it matter? Huh? 
Well, yeah, I guess. Wisconsin. Because you, you can't handle on that thing because it's yeah, not yeah, the it's angle's a, all wrong. Yeah. Well, it's too flat. You know, the more you go down, the less you have this. Yeah. And we're putting up the sign. <laughs> that sign rocked that plane. We thought we were going to lose it and fall off the platform. He's over there. Had to go change his shorts. Yeah, I'm looking sure at did. him. He's got no, you know, a slow motion like you're going to see an accident happen. All right. That's what tell that them was. That one. Tell, them was to be, tell them to calm themselves. Oh, this is actually the 40 with the electric start, yes. which, of course, will not fit Sprague's, on here. Sprague's, Sprague but, uh, um, bearing. It's really nice. Uh, Jackson, what's up, buddy? Good to see you. Let's see. Yes. See, here's the 40 twin. Yes. With the electric start. Where are we at? There. Right. There it is. There it is. Get there it is. is right there. Get in there. Look at that Sprague. Look at that. What do you think that is? Like about a 15 one on that uh, reduction unit? <laughs> it's got to be something. It's clean. That's right. It's very pretty. Yeah, and as Mean Joe said, the 40 twin is perfect. David Schneider, what's up, buddy? Good to see you here tonight. He's got man. some huge airplanes. I'm telling you, man. Yes, he does. Got a lot of stuff. It's nice. That's very nice. Yes, that's going in something. You, can believe you don't put your tongue in there. No, you would not want to do that. That would hurt. A lot. But like I say, um, you oh, know, nice. definitely check out Dave's RC Electronics if you guys are going to put lights or anything like that in these planes. And he's got a lot of st other stuff, too, but light kit for this 228 right here is really cool um and definitely if you're going to put your cockpits and things like that go check out sean over at scale rc engines uh look at the sign right over here behind you and uh yeah get, get the, the cockpit detail and everything on this stuff is all color man you don't have to paint anything the lenses over all of the instrumentation is a killer clear lens um, these things look amazing guys. So, uh, definitely get over there and check that out and get you some. So they pre-run these engines at the factory cause you can smell the fuel. Yeah. Man, you smell it. Mm, smell it. Take smell a hit. the biscuit. Want, want to take a hit? <sighs> it's nice. Yeah, Clean. that's definitely, yeah, that's, that's pretty. Smell the gas. Yes. <laughs> Isn't that nice? That's that pretty so nice, nice right there. I like it. Yes, sir. I like it a lot. Let's see. Is, the, is that a brushless motor on that electric start? Jerry it is. Asked. It yes, is. Yes. yes, it is. Yeah, it's really pretty. It's mm -hmm. sexy. It's functional. It's a work of art. That's what I call it. It is. Definitely I have the American. Art. You know what the DMB machine uh, is? Uh, they make two. They make a 95cc and a 61cc twin. American made. I think he used Husqvarna heads. Mm -hmm. And everything else is uh, all machined. And it's got an integral uh, ignition system. Yeah. Anyway, I picked that up and I put that on my PA-18. It runs awesome. Flawless. Yeah, this is really nice. So let me tease you one more time. Yeah, just Take one Take a look more. at them, Just Jones. one more. Look at them. Kennedy Church. Look at that. Throwing away, throwing around the money. She's got money to throw around? I don't think so. <laughs> That's pretty right there. Yeah, it does look awesome, doesn't it, Jared? Yes, it does. Let's see. Tim Tuton said the uh, Banana Hobby Turbine T45 came today. What? Tomorrow the Shwewin 80 comes. Awesome, man. Well, you better bring it on down to the fly and let's see what you're working with. Oh. Right? Yes, sir. A um, friend of mine's got the blue and white T45 Turbine Edition. It is really nice from Aerophone. Who, that? Who is that? Brian Walker. Remember he flew it at our last fly-in last fall? Was that T45? Yeah, it's T45, blue and white. Okay, so that's the Gosshawk? No. Yeah. Gosshawk? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. They also make that plane in the Texas edition. You know the one? Yeah, that, uh, yeah, Bobby's yeah. Because that's the one Bobby. I seen Bobby. Didn't Bobby have yeah, one? Yeah, he's, he's got the Texas that? edition. Yeah, his had the JP. Yeah, they're, it's cool. They're cool. They're he flies man. it. Walker flies his. It's nice. Man. Oh, it is. Everything's smooth, nice and yeah. smooth and yeah. linear, you know, not the jets that go. Exactly right. <laughs> <laughs> looks like a butterfly on crack or me without tape. Whatever mm -hmm. you want to call it. Yeah. Exactly. But anyway, they teach their own. I mean, it's cool. I like to watch those yeah. guys fly. Let's get that back in the back. Got my yeah. fingerprints all over it. Yeah, I know. If it lick it, if you lick it, it's mine. If I lick now, it, it's if mine. If, if it gets stolen, we'll I don't think so. It. Taste the biscuit. No, it stays here. She gave him money. She's flipping money. Who's got money? 99 cents. Yeah. Well, I got. 99 problems, and are you one of them, or are you the one that's missing? <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. They're cold, Wayne. You're cold. Cold? It's not cold out. It's nice. Yeah. A nice right. jacket. Matter of fact, this jacket was free. Salvation Army, baby. Less than 99 cents. 
She got these looking cool, for a come up. She got that cool sticker, isn't that cool? Oh, yeah, man, that's what I'm talking Why about. Why are we trying to get Stinger. dead things to fly? Dead things to fly, yeah. It's well. like, I never understood ECU. I get it, you know, with the pirate thing and the cove and the this and that and all the blah blah blah. Come here, say hey, come here, say hey. Come but here. when you go around, you call come yourself here. a pirate. Didn't pirates <laughs> rape, rob, pillage, and steal? Supposedly, yeah, that's what supposedly, they said. yep, that's what they said. Come here, come here, oh, come here. Say hello. There he is. Hey, boy. Hey, boo. <laughs> where's, your space, he where's your space goggles? Yeah, they're in the house. Yep. He had them on earlier today. Yeah, he hung out with us yesterday while we built a deck that looks so nice. Yeah, you did. Chilled with us. So, um, yeah. Um, so next week, guys, don't forget, too. We What's next week? Chris, oh, Chris, Chris will be on. Yeah. Yeah, the RC geek. We're going to have Chris Wolf. Yeah, I got all kinds of questions for him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You probably... Uh, I don't know. You think he'd like a lot of questions? I don't think so. Yeah, I mean, well, you know. He's, he's, well, you got to remember, he's coming down to us. Yeah. Or we're going up to visit him. <laughs> hey, yeah, I, I'm not sure one. which way this is working. Right, right, right. But yeah. he's got all kinds of things i got questions about. Yeah. I we're know he's right. really good at building. I know that. I know he's good at flying as well. And I want to know what happened to that B-58. Mm -hmm. I think that low voltage cutoff. I don't think he got rid of it. I think he... A little, a little too low, I'm guessing. I don't know. It's all a guess. Yeah. We can ask him. Yeah, we'll be able to ask him right here next week. He'll be here hanging out with us. He's got a lot of projects he's working on, and as well as the T28 from Legend Hobby, he's also uh, putting the radio in that, man. That's a, the 60? Yeah. I think it's a 60. Yeah, he's been doing some shorts uh, the past few days showing his T28 progress. Um, and, uh, yeah, it's looking really good. He's got the red and white one. And um, so that's the he same went thing with that the, Ken Wade has, right? Yes, he went with the uh Sierra gear, I believe, in his. And those are air, yes, pneumatic. Did uh, they not fit correctly? He had to do a little wiggle jiggle to get those in right in the front. I can't remember, I, I was reading something it. about it. Yeah, I would not doubt it. I mean, and he, he's all about custom. Did you see the video of uh, Ramey with a Honda jet? Yeah, it's nice, man. Is that beautiful or what? Beautiful. I mean, that guy is just like, I mean, amazing what he can build. I mean, the C-17 and that, and the Honda Jet. I mean, the, the sped up version of him building that yeah, Honda I know. Jet. I built a doghouse once, and it was crooked. I built a birdhouse. <laughs> you did the birdhouse? Yeah. I did doghouse. Bad house. Yeah. Yeah, I, don't, I can't make nothing out of it. I mean, yeah. He literally makes everything molds. Does he three print? Does he three D print them all? He, he does it all, man. I and mean, then he uh, lays them up from that, and makes the molds from that, and yes. then lays it all up because yeah. that was all carbon on the C seventeen. Yeah, right? and, and so they don't have the the gear in yet. You're still using that cross member on the bottom. Yeah, yeah, the dolly. Yeah, and the uh, the Honda Jet. I mean, the it's wrap, sexy. the wrap on that, the vinyl. I, I mean, know. just it's impressive, absolutely beautiful. And he made all the molds and I everything know. to build that. Too. I don't have enough life. I mean, just thinking about it, I'm tired. I mean, really, I mean, we, I think, we think putting six screws in something is hard. And a charge. Yeah, and a charge. I mean, and he's he's making everything. I know, I it's mean, amazing. But yeah, that Honda Jet just flew incredibly well. I, would, I wish somebody would make a version of smaller that the average well, man Well, the one afford. he made probably cost 40 grand. Oh, my God, yeah. Yeah, I wouldn't doubt it. But, it but not him. But I mean, can you imagine the hours and labor he put in that thing? No. Each one. Imagine the C-17, how many hours he put in that thing. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we're just I mean, just the, the units moles. alone where the Schubler's, right? Isn't that the big eight yeah, inch she has? That's yeah. five grand. One, two, three, four. So that's 20 grand just in propulsion. Then the batteries, then the $700 ESCs that you need to run it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Look at there. Um, we've got uh, Mr. Steve in here from Killer Plains. What's up, buddy? Good to see you, man. I'm still holding out hope. Are you? Yeah. Yeah. I've seen them crash that thing a thousand times. Bounce it around, flip it around, smack it around. Set it on my knee. Yeah. I'd like to get it too. Ready for Denise it in there? Denise there? <laughs> I don't know. It's still cold up there? You guys got snow? Is it all melting? What's the deal? We're in March, right? I mean, yeah. I know it's not tight till April. It starts really going mm -hmm. with the snow. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I never lived there. Choose Me not either. to. I couldn't. I couldn't do it. Well, it's like if you're born on an iceberg, it's all you know is ice, right? I guess. But, if you drug that but they cave, are teased with warm water. I mean, warm weather. Warm here, water? Warm, they have warm water? On warm the weather here and there, too. So, you know, they do know what it's like occasionally to have some warm weather. Um, so, yeah, I couldn't do it. Like Michigan, where Tim lives. 55, 65 in Michigan today. Mean Joe. Oh, cool. 65 in Michigan. Does that mean you guys are running around in your uh, thongs and the whole deal? 
I mean, it was in the mornings here. It was like what thirty when the it wind blowing. Thirty nine this morning. I think. Yeah, but a couple days ago it was in the low thirties. It was yeah. almost below freezing. I got you know my overhauls. I got my regular pants. I got my overhauls and in insulated ones. I got a jacket. I got no jacket on my jacket. You didn't have your heated jacket on. Not yet. I just looked at that the other day. I got charged the battery. But so I went to the gas station to do my normal thing. I get back in my truck with my drink and I look over there. This girl is getting out of her little Honda shorts. Oh, yeah. Clogs. Yeah. Just walking around like, hey, man, it's summertime. I, I, I look like a walrus and yeah. she's got nothing on. What do you think she's selling? Yeah. Well, that's like my son. He Healthcare? Wears shorts all the time. I doubt it. <laughs> I doubt it. Let's see. Um, da, da, da. Let's see. Uh, of course. Why? <laughs> Trying to read comments, make sure I ain't missing nobody. Um, you did. I did? Yeah. What did I miss? I don't know. I don't know. It's just human nature. Mm -hmm. Always assume. Just going back, checking up. Well, I figure Kenny can do it. We can do it. <laughs> you know? Why? All right. So we got 10 maidens, right? Yeah, probably so. We got a lot of planes. We got 10 maidens. Easy. Yeah. L19, P47, yeah. F14, Beaver. Two F-14s. Well, my F-14 technically flew no, into no. the pilot stand. <laughs> yeah, well. Um, that yaw. So we've got the uh, free wing F-14. I got to get out there. We've got the B-1. Um, let's see, of course, the T-28. We've got the Yak. We've got the uh, RV-8. We've got RQ7. L-19. L-19. We've got RQ-7 with a bomb drop. We've got to get the done. Yak. I mean... Just it's just it's a weather thing, man. And I mean, I'm not going to sit here and risk my nice planes in crappy weather. I'm just not going to do it. Yeah, know? I broke my prop. I risked it. Yeah, PC nine. Well, he would. Let's see. The flying, the flying works out great on my schedule. I'm off work spring break that week. My plan is to get up Friday morning and drive down, be there by. Some How far is he away from us? Is he He's in the about four and a half hours? He's in the mountains. In the mountains over yeah. there at Smoky. No, uh, um. Told us last time. Isn't uh, Wolf living in Tennessee now? He yeah. moved to Tennessee, mm -hmm. got out of uh, Mexifornia or Comifornia. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's killer, Jared. We'll be looking forward to it, man. What about that zero? You got enough money to buy that zero yet? <laughs> With sexy white Really, money? you got to get it, man. And uh, Lyndon Stewart said, uh, Jeff and Wayne, you guys get the micro Draco. No, thank you. I have no desire. Um, the big one didn't do it for me either, and uh, I'm yeah. glad it did. Mike Fox because, has uh, that, and yeah, he's not too happy about it. It's a piece of crap. It. I mean, I'm sorry, but as far as quality wise, it's got yeah. what like 500 plastic parts. Yeah, I and, mean, and literally, he had like he had to order three, four, five, six. Yeah, times. the landing gear was. A we big don't have it. Not a stock. Of broke again. Um, da, 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 yeah, that's the problem too. Getting parts for it. Um, but so it goes yeah. in reverse. Wow. <laughs> yeah. So uh, yeah, a micro that wouldn't do it for me either. Um, now, I like some of the micro planes because I have some of them. I've got several. Um, yeah, Jared said he's still going to get the zero. That's awesome, man. You need to go ahead and go over to Scale RC Engines and get that uh, cockpit. You know, you might as well go ahead and fix that one up, man. I mean, you know, that'll look nice. Um, and two, uh, Dave over at Dave's RC Electronics was telling us that, you know, the, the T-28 is going to have two pilots. So the back pilot, I want to get the actuator that his head just moves randomly, you know, like. He doesn't know where he's at. You know what I'm saying? And, You're and, gonna get the pilot that has the uh, arm motion. <laughs> no, nah, he doesn't have an arm motion because he wouldn't be cleared to fly for that one. You can get the pilot that has the bubbly water thing over there with the tube, yeah. tube to the pilot. Yeah, exactly. Um, but yeah, I, I definitely want the front pilot to be hooked to the rudder so he knows which way he's yeah, going. Mine's dyslexic because yeah. he turns to the left and I'm going right. Yeah, we I need, need a reverser. We need to get the reverser from Dave. I know. Dave I know. I know. And then let us not forget the one and only Mr. Guy Caputo. Guy over Caputo. At Flying Tiger RC. Always, always a great sponsor of this channel and looks out for us. Um, and uh, we really appreciate him. We've got shirts. We've got all kinds of uh, wheel locks. We've got rack systems. We've got my transmitter tray. So, guys, um, definitely go there and check out Guy over at Flying Tiger RC and um, get you some really cool stuff, all made right here in the U.S. by veterans as well. Um, Legend's got some cool stuff coming too, man. Um, 
They've got the big P-47 coming. They've got two P-47s. I what believe. about the 86? Didn't they have their own 86? Yeah, that's coming. They've got some cool stuff coming. And there was that Seagull. other Viper jet with a yeah, copper. Yeah, Viper jet. I mean, black and yeah. copper. That's why I say Seagulls is is behind all that. And and they're uh, supposed to be supposedly getting some of this stuff coming in. Like there's, I think there's some containers coming in now. And there's supposed to be some more coming in in June. So there's going to be some really cool stuff coming. Uh, Silver Fox, what's up, man? Good to see you. Definitely going with the detailed cockpit. Yeah, you got to on that zero, man. That looks so nice. Um, Josh Bunn, what's up, buddy? Ooh, nice. Um, what you looking at? The uh, Scott was thanking Sean for the scale engine yes. for his E-Flight T28 2.0 yeah. meter. 2 Looks fantastic flying with Sierra Nevada Mountains in the background. That's got to be so cold, full of mm -hmm. snow. Yeah, no doubt. Ooh. You keep all that snow, man. I have no... Uh, yeah, well, they need it for the drinking water because they get all their drinking water from the north down in L.A. Yep. Yep. I know. We got that aqueduct that goes all the way down from the north all the way down the south. I see people peeing it all the time. Oh, that's nice. Well, I think it's kind of acidic. Mm-hmm. You think? Maybe. Maybe. But, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, so if you guys are anywhere near uh, Kinston, North Carolina, and if you're not near, if Jerry Kirby can drive five hours away and Tim Tutank can drive, what, 16, 13 to 16 hours? That's a long You guys ride. can come down and hang out with us, man. We're going to have a lot of airplanes that day. We're giving away a DA-70. We're going to have some stuff from Legend Hobby. Um, we're going to have stuff, uh, I believe, possibly from Hobby King. We're going to have some stuff. Um, we got the. Did you say we got the DA seventy coming? Or no? Yeah, yeah. We're going, we're going to give one of those. That's too. the twin, right? Yeah, yeah. We're going to give that That's side a nice that seven hundred fifty dollars engine money. that we're going to be giving away. Um, also, we're going to have stuff from um, Scale RC Engines. He's going to be giving out some yeah. coupons for raffles. We're also going to have some yeah. stuff from Dave's RC Electronics. So he's on now. I know. I just saw that. I was oh. going to say hey to him. Photon's in the house. What? Yes. He's off of his cruise. He never he never <laughs> leaves the boat. All he does is wait for the next uh, group is. of young girls to get on. I know, right? It's hard life, man. Literally. <laughs> I don't know. Well, I, have I, to I take wouldn't his know word either, for it. but yeah. Captain Photon. We live through him. Um, yeah. What's up, Sean? Good to see you, man. Uh, glad you're in the house tonight. I know you said you're going to try to get in here. So uh, how you like the banner? <laughs> Looks really good, doesn't it? <laughs> um Let's see who has a who needs a comedy club. Who needs, you know, you know, exactly, you know there's plenty of cl comedy clubs on the boat, right? That's right, man. That's I right. know what he does. He stays on the boat, sits there. Wh what do you call it when the the gangway where you walk, everybody walks with their luggage onto the boat? Yeah. Scout, you know, he's probably got. Exactly, he's checking out what's coming. He's board. got his drink right there. Yeah. That's what he Surprised does. He doesn't have a parrot on his shoulder by now. As many cruises as. Hey, all right, my mighty. Let's see, Linus or Jeff. What about the Decathlon or JG from E? -Flight? Is that that small one just came out? Yeah. No, man. I mean, look, it's like this. Once you get into these big balsa birds, it's kind of hard to kind of go back. I mean, don't you think? I mean, it's fun to fly. Well, I still have them. We got the stuff. Corsair. We got the Frenzy. We got the F-16, 50 millimeter. Yeah, but you know what I'm saying. Yeah, I mean, no. you know, it's just. The smaller they get, the more twitchy are they. Yeah, the bigger Even they get. Even though you have all the electronics to make it all, man, it's just got to. But if yeah. you have a small containment area and you want to just, you don't work. have to put it together because the bigger stuff takes forever to put together. Yeah. Got seven servos to hick on that wing, seven on this wing, and got to have two guys to hold the wing. I mean, the big stuff's nice, but it's a pain in the butt. Bro. Yeah. You ruin it going like from here to here. Oh, yeah. Then you hit the tail something. when we were moving yeah. that. <laughs> yeah. And then you move so. it. Punch it, a hole. No in. matter how much protection you have, everything hits the door, hits the other plane. That's right. Just yeah. the way it is. It's just the nature of the beast. Yeah. It's like dating a blind girl. Yeah, I know. Sad. You, ever, you ever seen a blind girl drive over to your place and you mm -hmm. guys go out? No. You haven't seen that? No. <laughs> I've seen the guy drive with the white cane with the red tip <laughs> yeah. outside the car. Yeah. That's like, how, how does Helen Keller drive a car? One hand on a wheel, one hand on the road. <laughs> um, oh, my. But, uh, and then, you know, of course, let us not forget, I'm sure everybody's seen the new uh, Freewing F-14. Yeah. Is that, man, like, is that from new from the ground up? This isn't a version 2 or anything. This is the well, first... I mean, it's a 64 millimeter. You so know, the so mini, smaller. mini, mini one is the E-Flight, right? Yeah, that's, that's e a 40? Yes. But that's all foam as well? Yes. Doesn't uh, Jeffy have that? Yes, I think he did, but he wanted to sell it because he said he didn't care for it. He um, sells everything. Well, I, but yeah, well, hell. You know, everything's got a price tag, I guess. If 
you know. I'm, I'm not for sale. Really? Anyhow. Um, not yet. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, it, it's, uh, it, it's a, it's a cool plane. I, I don't know if they were going to redo the F-14. I think they should have done it in a, a 90, um, with twin 90s. And I think they're doing it because of the economy is going to take a dump. It, well, they need to just keep things flowing, and the big stuff probably not selling as much as it was. When everybody's I don't know, it. man, but they, everybody loves the F-14. Everybody it's loves true. the F-14. That is true. I mean, have so, you seen the extra XXXL-14? Yeah, yeah. Did you see the XXXL F-4 that he's making, the CARF one? Man, yes. thing's 12 foot long. Oh, I know. At 40 know. grand by the time you get two yeah. 400s in there, whatever he's running. It's awesome. Don't get me wrong. All the intake comes off magnetically, and you got all your dee -dee 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 -dee. the noses and everything. Yeah. Like that. Oh, I know. That's huge, man. It's huge. Mega. Huge. It's beautiful to look at. Uh, yeah, Carlos, let's see. Uh, question. They already sell the muffler. Uh, did you have it made? Let the cowling size. Yeah, I mean, the mufflers are in production, and yes, when they come out for the T28, they will stick out of the cowling. Yep. Um, and look very scale. Um, two fingers right there. Yeah, and uh, it's actually to be three mufflers coming out each side, and they, they do look fantastic. Yeah. We've actually seen them and uh, handle them, handled them, bondled handled them. them. <laughs> um, so yeah, uh, he they slept look great. with it. Um, yeah, trying photon anyway. Um, so yeah, those mufflers should be hopefully here anytime we're waiting on them. So, um, and let's see, I've got to put the T28, I've got to put the gear door servos in the air brake servo. You're at a dead stop until I you mean, get something. Well, yeah, I mean, you I can't could put progress, those, I could do the servos and stuff and get all that stuff working, but I just, uh I want to get the cockpit finished, man. The canopy and everything. I want to get that done. He's on. Talk to the I camera. Know, that's what I'm saying. I'm waiting on it. You got to get it done. Um, ready. I think it's just going to look so good, man. I mean, get the pilots in there, yeah. you know. I'm That'd waiting. be nice if you can get that, and then you can get all that done. You get everything sliding, beautiful. And yeah. Get your felt up there so it doesn't scratch. And yeah. Da, 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 da. It's still a lot of work. It is. But it's going to be beautiful. It is beautiful. It is. a pretty I just want to see it go. Pretty. I want to see it go. Yeah, I do. I want to see the L19 go, Wayne. <laughs> I, I've seen it go. Yeah, well, not had up it, in the air. I had it strapped to a 4 by 4 and it was going. I was breaking the engine in. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. Um, yeah, Jerry Kirby said, there's nothing like a big balsa warbird. No, yes. Not. Now, speaking that. of a big bird, we've got somebody, if any of you guys are local or can get around here, that I think somebody would really like. I saw it Ooh. Sunday myself. Oh, and yeah. It is got a picture a of it. It's massive. I'm talking, what's the wingspan on this thing? Mm. 15 feet, 17 feet, 17 feet. Let me guys. look it up. I'm looking and, it up. And right uh, it is absolutely beautiful. He wants to sell it. Got to get a good price. It's got, what is it? Mokis? Moki engine? No. What are they? Zenoa G38s. G yeah, Zenoa G38s. Four of them. Um, four. Okay. Anybody guess what it is? You never guess. It's we'll coming wait. up. All right. I'm looking for his picture. It's a beautiful airplane, guys. I saw it Sunday, um, and but you better have a big, big trailer to put it in. I mean, the fuselage is like, yeah, it's, it's massive. But it's beautiful. It, it really is. is. It's absolutely gorgeous. Anybody guess what it is? Anybody? Anybody guessing? It's, Four engines. It's, it's got to be right here. It was on the top of the page when I looked at it today. I'm trying to get it. I looked up his name, but it's not on his profile. What, what would you look under? It's silver. Yeah, it's definitely gray. Gray silver. Gray silver. Yeah, kind of a brushed aluminum oh, looking color. Okay, if I looked up on his. No, nah, Jared, not a B24, man. Not a B24. TU90 or something? Uh huh. Is it TU90? What? The name of the plane. Uh, it's a Russian plane. Yeah, TU90, I think. It's um, a era, 50 era. It's a four turboprop. But obviously, there's piston driven engines in there. Nope, not a B29. No. B57. Nope. Here it is. Up oh, here it is. You ready? Drum roll. It's for sale. Two guys at a great price. Yeah, it's a TU eighty, not a TU ninety. TU eighty. Rush. Let me get this picture here. And it is beautiful. Yeah, there it is. Here we go. You got a picture. Yeah. You ready? You can get your camera right. How do, how do you, you get good? it sideways? You, do you? It. You may not can. Oh. But it, it's massive, man. It is. Maybe there's a better picture. Yeah. Oh, there, there you go. There. Yeah. There show, show different views. Let me get out of the way so you can get up here. Check this out, guys. You ready to see this? Yeah, that's about, uh, I think it's like 14, 15 feet. Uh, come on, Mr. Ken Camera. 
Hold on, back off, back it off. Back, back, back it up. Oh, there it is. Oh, it's focusing on you. That's anyway. the problem. There it is. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, you can see the stands in the back. It is a big airplane, guys. Yeah. It is for sale. Um, that plane can be bought pretty much. I think it's ready to go, isn't it? I mean, it's got... Uh, it's, it's older. You're going to have to go through everything. Okay. Well, but the motors are really good on the it. The G38s, you know how they're just famous for reliability. Yeah. But I think they're there. They might not be the Magneto ones. I'm not sure. Yeah, Jerry, that's got your name on it, buddy. Yeah, that's it. You're going to need a trailer to haul that thing around. I mean, really, how long do you think the fuselage is? Uh, I think it's pretty square. It looks... It's got to be all of 12 feet long. Easily. Easily, the wingspan, yeah. wingspan's got to be at like 15 feet or something. I don't know what it is. It's, it's big. I mean, like I said, that thing's it's massive. It's massive. Size, massive. He, uh, he's selling that plane the way it is uh, with the fours and all. It's going to be at the show. It's going to be yeah, all full up. You can three grand for it, it, guys. Three grand. And um, any of you guys it's interested awesome. in it, um, it's a good buy for somebody. Um, if you want something that big and you want a, a showpiece, um, and it will be uh, at our show if you guys come, and I think he'll sell it that day. I really do. Yeah. I mean, I'm sure he wants to negotiate. He needs to get rid of it. So yeah. he's a motivated seller. Yeah, he is. And, and the, the um, guy that he got that from, I think he passed away. The kid was selling all the stuff. But in his garage, I was there, and I saw this with my own two eyes. It was a TU-95. The wingspan was that of a double-car garage. It was all built up from plans. He had it on like five, eight-foot tables he was working it together you know t95 the bear house got all the sweep sweep wings and it's that late 50s era early 60s whatever it is but it's impressive just gluing all that balsa together all hand cut all hand carved, all hand dude i don't have enough life no but we've got to get your black widow done because that thing is sweet he's got that in his trailer brand new never really? even flown yeah same one i have the really? tis is all done wow but you're gonna have to go through everything with that as well because they've been sitting for a while. That Black Widow, you got, we got to get it up and going, man. Yeah, that that's a Zeroli. I think it's a 114 inch wingspan, 116, whatever it is. I don't know, but it's cool. God. Yeah, yeah, it's cool. Yeah, and then he's wanting to build a plane, he said. Who? Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, he was telling me about that. He's been looking for them for all, and been looking for foam. Trying to make a fuselage. Uh, what's he making? A B36? Yeah, something like that. He wants big, round, solid pieces of foam yeah. for the, well, the cells. That's going to cost money. Yeah, I don't know anybody has big round solid blocks of fun. I thought you were gonna say something else. <laughs> yeah, you would. Let's see. Yeah, Jared, uh, you would need a new trailer if you don't have a long. Oh yeah, one. that thing is big. It's massive. But you know, for somebody that just wants one or two nice airplanes that they can bring out, fly, put them away. It's an know. all day deal to bring that out, put it yeah, all together. Yeah, I'm saying. It all. Yep. That's what I'm saying. There's no use in bringing any other airplanes. No. Uh -uh. That's your focus. But as big as that is, that's kind of like, that's like if you had the big XXXXL F14, <laughs> that's all you got to do, man. You stand get mobbed. Back. You just got to stand back. All you okay? got to do is open up your trailer right. and you get mobbed. You, you better put, put cones up with caution tape. You could put it behind the tape. curtain, man, and go, okay, for Because everybody's, everybody's over there looking at it. Really? For a sneak peek, you got to have a quarter to look behind yeah, the curtain. You got to keep a quarter I mean? going in the machine to keep yeah, the curtain. You gotta keep that's the old school way. Yeah, that's right. Let's see. Uh, Back in the day. But yeah, let these guys that take on these, you know, the Europeans fly those massive half scale airplanes like that XXXL F 104. Yeah. Uh, what's that? The Air World. I think it's like 15, 18 feet long and fuselage this big around. Yeah. yeah. It is looks like a giant lost silver log in the air, man, with a teeny it looks like the tail for a wing. You know what I mean? The wing yeah. is just I never understood the anhedral like this on a 104. Somebody explain to me why they got anhedral like this in a 104. Anyone? Wouldn't it be more stable Anybody? if it was like this? But I'm just going by what I know. I mean, I, you know, it's like this in a 104. That's the way got tip T45 tanks. is. T45 drift. Well, it depends too. if you're putting on it backwards, the tail. Yeah, well, yeah, that, all, that always depends, you know. Because I think um, it wasn't like that. And it's supposed to be like Yeah, that. it's supposed to be drooping downward like this. Everybody makes mistakes. Like I've made yeah. mine. I can't tell you. I don't want to tell you a long time. No, we don't know. We don't, yeah. don't have enough time. <laughs> exactly. We don't have enough time to share those. Hey, boo. What are you doing? Hmm. What? Ooh, Captain Photon's dad rode in a Black Widow over Indochina yeah, in 44. That. He knew a guy that knew a guy. I knew a guy. I got a guy. Yeah, assembly. Yes. It's the job. You know, I got a job all week long that barely pays. You think I want to go to the field and take 
half the day putting it together and half the day taking it apart and then fly it once. I mean, I get it. If it's your deal and you like it, I'm for it. Well, I'd like to see it. But it's like, you know, with Robert, with that big cub, uh, cub he's 50%. Gone. I think yeah, 50%. It's big. I mean, the wings are picnic tables. I mean, the cord on that thing is three feet. That's the yeah. cord, the wing cord. Yeah. And each wing is longer than a um, picnic table. Yeah. I'm and saying. then you got the fuselage is what, almost two feet wide? Yeah. So I think it's like 13 or 14 feet wide, 15 yeah. feet. It flies know. so good. It does. I like it when he flies inverted and then and the tail hits the corn. Hey, uh, yeah. Zzz. What are they planting out there this year? You know? I don't know. Probably beans this year. No, I think it's cannabis. Cannabis, really? Well, gosh. I don't know. Man, crash a plane into it and set the field. I can on tell fire. you one thing you never get to harvest any of that because it'll all be harvested early. Oh, God. Yeah. Heck yeah. Everybody would come to help. Let's see. A7 is anhedral. anhedral. Yeah. Anhedral as well. Yeah, that's right. And plus the uh, root rotates up, right? Root. On that. One main screw that, because of the landing angle, so the guys can see the cockpit yeah, sound, just like the uh, Concorde, the nose comes down, except the wing goes up on the A7. Up, up, because up. Chris Wolf, his dad sold the A7. That's it. Is that the one that he used to win the? Didn't he win a thing at Scale Masters with his jet? Yeah. Was yeah. it last year? I think so. The year before, whatever it was. Yeah. Yeah. He's won, he's won. I think he's won several times actually. I won a IRS audit one time. <laughs> <laughs> that's all I win. I don't win anything. Man, I don't want to have that, man. Well, I've had that. Let's see. Well, that service in the war was flying the hump in the C-46. Flying the hump. Uh, the yeah, hump. that's up and over those mountains. Doing the humpty dance. You know how many uh, SR-71s we lost? Mm. I think we lost 16 of them. Wow. That's a lot of money. Yeah, that's right. 16, oh, if I'm mistaken. And the guy yeah. that invented the machine gun, I, I told you yesterday, man. the guy that invented the machine gun did so much research on firing his gun all the time, he went deaf. And then his son invented the suppressor. A little late, but great idea for the rest of us. Great idea. Yeah. That's the F-8 Crusader, yeah. That's a cool airplane. It's almost like some F-16, except it's a tube. It's like a flat tube. Intake's on the bottom. Mm -hmm. That's Vietnam. Vietnam. That's where Bruce was. He was one of those guys that crawled down in the hole with a 45. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I wouldn't have wanted that job. No, no, I can't even imagine. No. Mm -mm. What, you want to go in the house? You can go in the house? No, I want to go in the house. house. Something let him in. You can go in the house. You probably need to drink water. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Go. Go. Going behind the curtain. Got to pay to look behind the curtain. All right, he's, he's gone. <laughs> what does the one math book say to the other math book? This is a dad joke, if you haven't figured it out. Captain Photon, you go first. What did one math book Say to the other math book. Na, 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 na. You got it yet? Nope. Nobody's got it. We've got a lot of problems. That's what it says. <laughs> what are you whining about over here? Over here. With all these killer planes from our friends at Legend Hobby. Check those out. Don't they look nice? Yes. Yes, check it out. Looking good, fellas. Really good. Look at there. The bomb's dropping. Mm-hmm. That Corsair is sweet, man. Yeah, a lot of cool stuff. And more is on the way. Thomas is going to be a busy guy over there. Wish we could get Colin to come down here, too. Colin Cohan. Cohan. Who? Um, Colin. He's a, he's a um, legend hobby pilot as well. And uh, he's uh, on Facebook showing stuff all the time, too. You need to get him in here. I got nothing. <laughs> Padre. Oh, yeah. This, the See? answer is we's got problems. Lots we's. of problems. Some math books. One math book to the other. Ken Wade said, not the A7 Corsair. I have so many problems. <laughs> well... Welcome to the world, man. I mean, you know. You don't even need a math book for that. No, exactly. All you got to do is breathe. Yeah. You don't well, have to go looking for any problems start, today. You'd be breathing in the next month and the pollen's falling. Uh, yeah, I can see it starting to fall already. Yeah. yeah, it's really bad. Yeah, the tree pollen's up. Trees are budding out here, which we had a little frost on the rooftops last night. It was cold. Um, yeah. Like I said, it was about 37 <clears> or 39 <throat> when I got up this morning. Um, well, I've seen a list of, uh, you know, any developed country. All they want is total control, right, of everything. 
there's a list of the permits that you had to have in like the year 1900 in the United States of America. It was like six, six. Does all the permits were in the United States of America. You do whatever you want. You want to build a house on the sand? Do you want to build a house on a cliff? You want to build your house in a tree? And do whatever you want. It was America. Now okay. they showed a list yeah. from then, like six, seven, eight, ten permits you had to have to do whatever. And then they showed a list of today, the modern, if you live in a city, page one, page two, oh, yeah. page three, page four. Mm -hmm. it, yeah. It's not, it's pay to play now. It is. That's what it's all about. It's all money. I, mean, I don't have any and permits aren't cheap and then you got to get a guy to come out and inspect it and approve it and if he doesn't approve it and you got to do something else well you got to spend more money to make him happy well i was in uh, pasadena where the rose bowl is we we're building a house on top of the hill above the rose bowl expensive real estate first guy that came out was the uh epa guy no he's a forest guy forest guy anyway something to do with we're on top of a hill, and he has to come and check to see if there's any rivers there. I said, we're on top of a hill. <laughs> Water okay. does not stay on top of a hill. Why would we need you to come out and see if there's a river here? <laughs> <laughs> Might be a stream somewhere, but uh, I don't know. I'm just guessing. Not unless know. there's a hole in the top of the hill. I to, I, the best one of them all was I was doing another house over there. I think it was in uh, Santa Monica or Brentwood or wherever it was. It was and there was three pine trees in the front where the curb and the sidewalk is. Pine tree, pine tree, pine tree. No big deal. I seen this guy. It looked like Yogi Bear's boss. Literally had the hat and, you know, the green and the tan. The forestry guy, right? Had the patch and the whole deal. Yeah. He's over there looking at the trees, feeling them, hugging them, measuring them, doing everything. Each one. So I had to walk over there. I said, dude, what are you doing? Oh, I, 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 have, to, I have to check and see everything about these trees to make sure they're okay and healthy. I said, well, why? Mm. Because if you damage one and you kill one, he had a price tag on each one of those trees, what you're going to pay to put a tree back there. Damn. Each tree was over 40 grand. Wow. Dude, That's if you uh, killed it, dude. It's just like, I go, tag. What happens if a car hits it? Well, a car would probably get killed if it hit a tree. I even got ran out of the city. In Beverly Hills, you cannot work in Beverly Hills before 8 a.m. You cannot even be in city limits. They will run you out mm. the city limits. Okay. And then you got to come back in. Mm. Yeah, it's not uh, a fun place. It's, that's why I left. What's up, Eric? Shadow Ops RC. How are you tonight, man? Good to see you, buddy. Um, yeah, we're sitting here shooting crap tonight, man. Uh, like I said, waiting on good weather. Hopefully coming up soon. Waiting on a fly-in April the 16th. Getting everything planned up for that as well. Um, dreaming about airplanes, flying, warm weather, no wind. Last year, I don't, I don't know about where you guys are, but here it was windy all last year. It was bad. I mean, um, every weekend there's a lot of wind, and I hope that'll get better this year. I really do. Hope so. I mean, because El Nino needs to leave us. Who names this crap? Same person that named La Nina. They're brothers and sisters, I guess. I don't know. I mean, I worked at one of the NOAA stations, the North American or, or Atlantic, whatever it is, about all the weather stations. You guys know what the NOAA I know you guys know. Type it in, you know. I know you guys know because you guys have been in the military. I was working on the site where they're setting up all the equipment for all the instruments for the weather. It was just slow. Mm -hmm. You ever seen the government work fast? No. Besides collecting taxes? No, no, yeah, no, no. That's what I thought. Jerry Kirby said, so I have a question to see if you guys might can help me with. Well, ask away there, my good fellow. It's, it's within reason. Yeah, well, anyway, because we don't know what kind of questions you got coming up. <laughs> Who's got their money on Tyson? Oh, right here, baby. You got your money on Tyson, right here. I think Tyson is gonna kick that white boy's butt. I'm gonna go ahead and tell you, man. I really do. <laughs> I'll tell you one thing whoever loses is still gonna make millions and millions. Well, that's true. But Everything's Tyson, already sold out. I know that's what I told you. I think front row seats and this and that are like 50 grand. Yeah, that's what I heard. Tyson, Tyson is going to put a whooping on that boy, and he's got well, wearing, he better do it within uh, headgear, man. He better do it within four or five minutes because I don't know, you know, being was he 30 years old? You seen him training? Yeah, dude, I'm telling you, I know. he was hitting a big old punching ball on a video I saw today, man. And he is just like, I hate for that to be my head because he's like wailing on that thing. And if he ever connects, it's it. Let's see. I have a DLE 55 RA that I cannot get the carburetor to pump fuel. I have taken it apart, 
went through and cleaned the entire carburetor and still nothing. Is it brand new? Is it brand new, says Wayne. <laughs> so is it brand new, Jared? Um, never, has you never had it running? Nothing? Have you ever squirt fuel in there just to get it to burn? I have replaced the gaskets and have checked the pump side and the needle side of the carburetor for obstructions, and there's nothing. No, it's not new, he says. Yeah, because everything I have is used just like that. But I know with the 55, to get it to burp, you need to get a little uh, snot bottle. You know, the little, you squeeze it and it sucks the fuel in it. Anything that you can squirt some fuel in it to see if it'll burp or just use a little starting fluid. Anything yeah. to get it to fire. It'll get a little, uh, that vacuum going in your little pump in your carburetor because I, I had the same similar problem with mine. You just got to keep working it. Work I your pot back it, and forth, get it. that vacuum going. Do, 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 do. Work it. Yeah, you got to work it. Yeah, it's really, there's not a whole lot of secrets with the two-stroke stuff. You got two needles, you got a high and a low. Then you got your little needle down there for your um, idle. You just throw that away. <laughs> yeah, we took yeah, the It does just stuff. vibrate out of the hole anyway. Exactly. But anyway, yeah, squirt some fluid in there and I've squirted a ton of fluid in there. Nothing. Okay, well, I can tell you this. It could be that your pickup, check your ignition, see if you're getting spark because uh, you could have your wires backwards on your ignition. Um, I don't know. I think you can go up to a 12 volt on that. Everybody usually uses like a two cell uh, LiPo, which is 7.4, which is 8.2 fully charged. Uh, I check your ignition because if you're shoving fuel down in there and you got nothing, either you, you don't have any compression right. or you don't have ignition. Yeah. It can only be two other things. Gotta have fire. So either you got a crack somewhere and you're getting no pressure, or you got a bad spark plug, or you got a bad pickup magnet, or a pickup. Ignition weather. is fine, already checked. And Scott Monarch said maybe a bad ignition module as well. That yeah, could be. That could be as well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's a troubleshoot. You got to be your own mechanic. But you're asking, and then I'm sure there's guys in here that have the same problem, so they should be chiming in. Yeah. It happens to everybody. Chime, chime. Because I ordered up the brand new, this is like four years ago, um, the NGH four-stroke 38cc. It was yeah. the cheapo one, the cheaper, cheapest one, or economical one uh, from Motion. And uh, I got it for two ninety nine. dollars and what was wrong with it? I think it was the uh, the pickup. I had a, a pickup was bad. It, nothing. I couldn't get any nothing to the plug the fire and then they sent me a new pickup and you cannot hand start that thing to save your life but you bump it with the electric starter starts every time that's right idles like a dream doesn't have a whole lot of power but hey for 299 dollars brand new it's, i've been you running said it it's definitely nothing with the ignition i'm getting plenty of spark then it's got to be timing scott said either cut either that or compression gas. you need to check compression then i'm thinking maybe a diaphragm might be shot yeah but if you've got fuel if you shove fuel in there you had your butterfly open and you shove fuel in there you have compression and there's no leak in the cylinder and you have ignition something has to burp if it doesn't burp you, you see that you don't have any compression you got a loose plug you got a crack in the cylinder you got a hole in the crankcase i don't know i'd have to see it scott said is the carb dripping gas when choked man that means You'd have pressure in there, and it'd be pushing it in and coming mm -hmm. out. Is it inverted, or you got to set? It have to be inverted in your plane, right? You don't want to get that cylinder full of fuel in the head while it's inverted, because you'll get a hydraulic lock and bend the rod. That's not good. No, it's not good. likes a bent rod. Well, some do. He said he's got good compression. Well, you got everything there. Then it's got to be some kind of timing issue. Move your pickup. Advance it a little bit. You can move it, I don't know, 10, 15 degrees, something like that. Yeah. Come on top but of it. But mark your your baseline where it's started at. I just take a little exacto knife and I etch a line and then I move it and play around. He said at first thought that maybe it was just really dry from sitting. Then I went through, put fuel in the car, but still I'm still not getting, getting anything from the jets. Uh well, the part that's really messing with my mind is if you put fuel in the throat, the fuel should go into the crankcase and it should compress and then go up to the ports and it should go into the cylinder. Why isn't there anything firing? If you're getting fuel in there in the crankcase and it's going up the ports, going into the cylinder, and you have compression and ignition at 
top, you should at least get a burp. Scott said, I've seen it when the choke doesn't close enough, sealed it with my hand to get gas. Sucking. Yeah, we used to put a thumb over it. Yep. Like a lawnmower. Put your hand over it, <laughs> you know, over the, and pull the cord. Yeah, but don't be like me. I, I was always wondering when I was a little kid, I'm looking at the lawnmower and see it running. I'm going, well, what's that, that little screw thing down there? Well, that's where you put the oil in, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, that's not But good. the lawnmower was running. That's not good. So I go, well, now I get it. <laughs> so I loosen it. You're up. the reason they put the sticker on the sides that shows people picking it <laughs> up with their fingers while the blade's turning. That's why they Won't put you that check sticker. that for me? Shit the blades. With <laughs> Could you pick this up and set it? No, I cannot. While, Thank you very much. While it's running. Yeah. Or either the one where they have your toes. Do not stick the toes. Um, yeah. Fuel, uh, well, if you got everything, if you got fuel going to the cylinder, you got ignition, you got compression. There's a component that we haven't touched yet. So either it's a combination of the three or one of the three that we talked about isn't exactly what it, we say it is. That's my guess. You won't know. You're going to have to go back to it. What you need is someone looking over your shoulder because sometimes we get tunnel vision being alone, working on our stuff mm -hmm. because I'll be working on something and he looks over and says, hey, what are you doing? I said, I'm getting this thing in there. He says, well, it's upside down. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I guess it is. That, that makes it's it the different. outside vision. I don't have. He doesn't have tunnel vision. He can see from the outside yeah. in, and well, especially if you've been working on it for a while, you know, and you're you're already spent, yeah. and you're then they're done. Your that. Mind is burnt and everything else. Yep. Um, what's up, Roach? How you doing, man? Good to see you, buddy. Roach, Coach Healy's in the house. Let's see. You finally got pissed off when I just put a new carb on it. So you put a new carb on it, now. and then it's fine. That's what he says. Mm. Still doesn't make sense if you got fuel. You shove fuel in the carburetor, went down the crankcase, up the ports, and then mm -hmm. you bypass the whole carburetor. You went right down the throat. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's weird. Anyway, congratulations on your new car. Because it's frustrating if you can't get something to work, then you need it to work. It is mm -hmm. so frustrating. It is, man. Kind of like getting those microphones to work. Yeah, no doubt. It took one little cord thing. Yeah, there's an RRS cord, and then there's an RRSS cord. Mm -hmm. and obviously, I had the wrong cord. Obviously. Nobody talks about it in the instructions. Nobody talks about it online. Nope. It's life. It sucks. No, it's life. always something, you know? It's yeah. always something. Um, I've been troubleshooting this for a month and cannot figure out what is going on. I finally just threw it. I will in on it. Yeah, well. Well, is there a fire sale going on there? <laughs> DLE 55? <laughs> yeah, just saying. Because I bought mine. I got mine for 180 yeah. bucks. Used. I don't know who or whoever it was. Even came with a receipt. The guy was the original owner. Uh, I put it in there. I checked it, went through everything, and then... What a bargain. Loved it. Love it. That's right. Well, that's a bummer yeah. to hear. That is a bummer. Bring the car uh, when you come. Uh, bring the fly engine. In. Yeah, bring the whole thing. Put it on a stand. We'll figure it out. We'll, yeah. we'll troubleshoot it. Lunchtime. Have some pork and beans. Said it runs great with a new carb. <laughs> great. Yeah, well, there you go. See? We'll bring something else. Yeah. Bring it on. We'll all, we, we love it. That's the best part about electric motor. If it's running yeah. backwards, you cross two wires, and then it goes the other way, and everybody's happy. There's nothing else to troubleshoot. That's right. If man. you're troubleshooting something, you usually Unless you throw a magnet. I threw a magnet on the 1700 King Twin. Yep. Twice. Your King Twin. Yes. Yeah. Actually, twice, too. I well, it's yours it. now. Well, <laughs> I didn't want to spend another thirty dollars on the motor and then shipping, and I might as well just go in there and fix the battery. And I <laughs> Steve did. said, "Jared, get a bigger hammer, <laughs> smash." Yeah, it. get a ninety-pound jackhammer. I ain't really. Now, if you've ever ran a ninety-pound jackhammer for even rattle you twenty teeth, minutes, boy. you'll know that you've been running a jackhammer. You mm -hmm. cannot move. You vibrate. Mm -hmm. And if you've ever ran a ninety-pound jackhammer. And you know how they'll bounce sometimes while mm. it's just sitting there idling and you, you don't have your hand on it, but you barely touch it. It'll jump up. It jumped up off the ground and the point went right on my pinky toe. And Ooh, I didn't have steel toe boots. God. Went right on my pinky toe. For three months, I had my Ugh. pinky, my foot behind me wherever I went because it was so tender. It was Ugh. broke. I don't even know. It was God. smashed. Ugh. Yeah. Mm. Happens. Jeez. Night, Mom. She's out of here. Let's see. Very true, Wayne. Can't be the easy. Love electric. electric. Yes. I vowed I'd never even do electric, and here I got 20 of them. Let's but see. I love my gassers as well. I love the glow engines. 
What's the updates on the Tomcat? Well, Wayne's got it ready to go. We just got to get a day. When All right, the, let me just read the picture. Wind's not blowing, and um, it's ready to remade. Just sitting in the trailer. Um, it's in the trailer, ready to go. So we just got to make sure when we toss it this time. There it is. See, it's still live, still kicking, just waiting. Mm-hmm. And we will test both motors before you throw it. Yeah, uh, yeah. I never thought I had to do that, but no. evidently I have to do that. No. Skip, what's up, buddy? Skip building the house. Good to see you, man. Um, somebody was asking about the micro Draco earlier. I know you got one of those. You've been flying it, which you've had a lot of wind too, man. I've been watching your videos and you've been battling wind and everything else. You and Mike and the guys get out there flying. And I think your snow's about melted now, so that's a good thing. Hallelujah. Yeah. But uh yeah. Now it's time for the bugs. Yeah, well, I'll take the bugs and hot any day. Well, you get like two day. weeks of spring and then it's bug time. Yeah, I'll take it. Yeah, Roach, won't be long now, man. If we can just get some good weather, we'll be all set and get that thing up in the air. Victor just rolled in. Victor. From Ontario. Sham. Oh, let's see. He said, I got you. I thought you were my shamless. Yeah, it is Victor. Shamless. Let's see. All you need, you need a mini Tom Cruise for the F-14. Yeah, we know. We just need to be playing highway. We can't to afford a, a three-quarter billion-dollar Tom Cruise. Yeah. We need, play, we need to be playing highway to a danger zone when we throw that thing. Again, Can you imagine right? the royalties he's getting from the movies he's made and the deals no. he's made? He doesn't even have to work. No. And he's got those royalties coming in there. Mm -mm. Can't imagine. No. I mean, Toby Keith was worth, what, half a billion dollars? They said they were going to, um, then there are three, uh, uh, Top Gun 3 is supposed to come out. I would imagine. It's a moneymaker. It is. Huge moneymaker. Yeah. Um, That'd be cool, man. Everybody's going to mourn when he dies because everybody's making tons of money on him. Oh, yeah. Well, he hadn't aged much. Ain't nobody going to mourn when I die. The wife's going to smile and go, yeah, when's that insurance going to come by? I got yeah, to pay the next check, day. And I can finally get on with my life and fix the house. Yeah, that pay the next day. Is she watching? <laughs> Let's see. Well, we're at 932, man. Oh, my. Yeah. And uh, we won't keep you guys too long tonight because we appreciate you coming by and hanging out with us. So like I said, don't forget, next week we'll have Chris Wolf, the RC geek right here. And I'll uh, be talking about stories and how he got started and all his planes. And we'll be talking about the T-28 and the radial that he's putting in there um, and some other good things he's doing, too. And how he got started in this awesome hobby. His dad. Yeah. So, yeah, we're going to have some really cool stuff. So definitely tune in next week, guys. Tell your friends, tell your grandma, tell your sisters and your your relatives in California. It's going to be a good show. Um, we're going to be probably putting something up uh, this week on Facebook several times to let everybody know that uh, Chris will be here and he'll be answering some questions. So, um, yeah, that's Works it. for me. So don't forget, put it in your calendars. Tell everybody, bring your dog, your cat, everybody in the family because it's going to be a great show, man. <laughs> so um be looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to it. I think it's gonna be yeah, great. I can't wait to see this T28. Um, and like I said, hopefully for long we'll have the cockpits and everything for this and get this uh going and get the canopy totally buttoned up and uh get the mufflers, get the rest of the servos put in, we'll be ready to fly this thing. So we better before we start getting those social security checks. L19 is gonna be broke out. It's not broke in enough. The you know glue I mean? joints are gonna be falling apart <laughs> by the time we get it in the air. That's right. So, uh, yeah, cool, Sean. Appreciate you, buddy, man. I'm looking forward to it. And everybody, check out Scale RC Engines. Check out the banner behind us. We're looking forward to having that flying proudly at the field this year, along with many others that we have. And uh, be really nice. So, you guys, be here next week, and we're going to have a great show. And uh, thanks to all of our sponsors that look out for us and get us some great stuff on here. And we will see all of you next week, same time, 830, with Mr. Chris Wolf, and we'll be geeking out. Take care. See ya.